hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it first i want to say happy friday i hope everybody's having a wonderful day please stay safe please stay aware of your surroundings and y'all watch the company that you keep it just may save your life y'all my bad for not sending this earlier y'all because i just been so busy i got a lot going on but you know word on the street is in Memphis, Tennessee, Black Youngster's brother was just taken out a couple hours ago. Okay, y'all? Um, do y'all remember? Do y'all remember when um, Black Youngster was out here dancing at the, the gravesite and stuff with the Thornton, you know? Do y'all remember this? See, people don't realize what they're getting themselves into when they get into it. And like I told y'all, ain't no way. I showed y'all a picture of Dolph's son. And the look on his face, it brings tears to your eyes. If you just keep looking at the picture of his son. Now, I know that they're trying to get his man off of what just took place with his father. And yes, it's been a couple years. But you don't get over losing a parent, especially when you're a child, that easy. I was grown when my father passed and I was, I'm still feeling it. That's a void that's, it's hard to get over. You can't ever get over that. And it seems like this child has been traumatized, to be honest with y'all. I hope that they're giving, you know, Dolph kids the help that they need right now. Because you can, you can look at him, you can feel it. Just looking at him through the picture, the hurt that he's feeling, that they took his father away. And if you think his son is hurting... What about all the people that Dolph helped in Memphis, y'all? Dolph helped a lot of people. People couldn't pay their bills. And, and it's the same thing. People are struggling out here. He helped a lot of older people, senior citizens, help pay their bills. People was losing their houses. Dolph came through for a lot of people. And when you take somebody like that, it just don't go away so easy. Okay, y'all? It don't go away. He fed a lot of people. Dolph fed so many people, he even fed his ops. He was set, he was he had his ops working with him. Okay, y'all. As long as they wasn't out here doing no, you know, wilding out stuff, Dolph helped them. Even the people that didn't like him. And that's where he messed up at, too. That's another thing he messed up on. Helping, you don't help. I don't care what you say. People can say what they want to, but I, I, I can't keep putting my hand out to people that don't like me and I'm helping them. I can't. I, would, I'm, I just can't do it. I can't keep buying people stuff that um, bite the hand every time. You turn around and buy somebody something, then they turn around and try to get your life taken. Okay? Um, this is where Dolph fell short at, and he shouldn't have been doing. And I'm just going to say it like it was. He shouldn't have been. And he should have valued his life a little bit more by getting his family and stuff away from Memphis and staying away from Memphis. And Dolph probably would still be here right now, y'all. It should have been him just taking over, taking a wheel and making sure that he be there for his kids and get away from your Gotti and black youngster and all of that. But this is going to be something that's going to continue, y'all. And, I, you know, I hate to say it, but it is. Until they get them top dogs who they really want that allegedly has something to do with taking him out like Yo Gotti and black youngster and money bag, yo, they're going to get everybody that's so close to them. Do you see how people been passing away from CMG members because they can't get, get their hands, their paws on them, y'all? Do you see this? This is crazy, and everybody is saying it ain't nothing but karma. You know he was in that, he was dancing on in the, at the gravesite, y'all, putting it in the videos. Now look what just happened. Your brother is gone. Is it even worth this? As big as Memphis is, 
they couldn't share the spotlight. And see, this is a lot of problems with a lot of these celebrities right now. They can't share the spotlight, y'all. But reports are coming in everywhere now that Dolph, I mean, you, not Dolph, but Black Youngster's brother just got taken out. Man shot near a gas station in South Memphis. This is what the police are saying. A man was shot and taken out in South Memphis Friday morning, according to the Memphis Police Department. Memphis Police Department said the, you know, the gunfire that took this person rang out around 9.30 a.m. near BP, excuse me, our gas station on Sunday on, on South Parkway East, just down the street from Southside Park, y'all. This morning, do y'all see, you, you can't never get caught slipping. 9.30 in the morning, you wouldn't even think no hitters is outside. But when you got a target on your back, like the target that all of these people have on their back and their family members now, people is out for blood over Dolph. And it could be 10 years from now, and people think that they done got away, and they still a roll up on you. Stop playing these stupid games. And you wouldn't be getting these stupid prices. And it's as simple as that, y'all. 930 in the morning, he just lost his life. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. And this is my personal opinion. Black youngster didn't give a shit a cup about his brother or his family. He didn't care. You know, when you take out somebody that got this many fans and that helped this many people... It ain't no way in the world that this is not going to reach you one shape, form, or another. This is why I talk about this all the time about, you know, Yo Gotti running around with Angela Simmons. If Yo Gotti cares so much about Angela Simmons, he would have left Angela Simmons alone. Because right now, Angela Simmons got a target on her back. And I pray, I pray to God that her child don't be with her when it go down. And I know y'all probably saying, well, why you ain't say you pray for her? Because if she that noob it's day to put herself in a situation like this right after her baby daddy got gunned down too, she get everything she deserve if she's caught in the, cross, the crossfire. And that's how I personally feel about this whole thing. Because everybody's giving a warnings. This shit occur is not over and it ain't gonna be over for years to come and anybody that think that they're gonna get some kind of hurt or a tear drop the fall if they can't get your Gotti, black youngster money bag on them who allegedly has something to do with Dolph passing they're gonna touch everybody around them and it's as simple as that and i don't understand I know Angela Simmons is grown. I know that. But just so you could be in the spotlight and everybody can be like, oh, that's Gotti's woman. Da, 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 da. You want that spotlight and you want that target on your back like that? This is why I tell y'all, y'all, uh-uh, I, 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 I don't got time for this. This is something. Could nobody pay me to talk to your Gotti? Black youngster, now one of them. They could buy me a... a, a a $10 billion, million dollar house, and I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. Because you know why? It ain't the fact that I, I don't want that $10 million house. It ain't that. But when you do dirt, it come back to you. That's why I be telling people, don't stand, I wouldn't stand next to him in a storm. The lightning might hit him. I say this all the time. Sometimes people got to use their brain, and Angela Simmons ain't using hers. And her family ain't getting to her or something. Uh, they don't care once. But like I said, Black youngster didn't give a damn about his brother. Because I'm going to tell you this. If he did, when he moved out of Memphis, he would have took his brother with him if he cared about his brother. His family members wouldn't be in Memphis. So you got to think about this before you go do some dirt. You got to think about, okay, if I do this and I move out, my cousin, my brother, my sister, my mama, my grandma, my this and that, I got to make sure they good too. Because if they can't catch me, they're coming for them. They're coming for them. 
And you have to think about this when you get involved in some mess like this, especially somebody that was so loved in Memphis and not just Memphis, all over the world. Everybody and their mamas and their daddies want some revenge, want some get back right now for Dolph right now. And I'm going to tell y'all something that I found out just yesterday. Let me read this a little bit to y'all, and then I'm going to tell y'all what I found out yesterday, okay? Um, it says, Memphis, Tennessee, a man was, you know, hitting, taken out in South Memphis um, Friday morning, according to the Memphis Police Department. Okay, I read that part. That he got hit up at 930 at the BP gas station. When officers arrived, a man was, he was, had already passed at the scene, okay? Uh, Fox 13 crews arrived. When they arrived, the police taped the block off a portion of South Parkway East and um, squad cars surrounding the gas station. Memphis police asked anyone with information about this hitting to call Cram Stoppers, and they got the number up. Any information which leads to an arrest in this case would be worth $2,000. Now, let me tell y'all something about that $2,000. Now, this is the second reason why I say Black Hamster don't care about his brother. Number one, he didn't move him out of town with him. He's protected and, and had now from the dirt they did to Dolph, but allegedly. Um, but your brother's still hanging out in the streets. And I'm going to tell y'all, the brother had to have some screws missing too for to still be hanging out in the streets. Thinking that it was um, it was sweet when it wasn't. Okay, y'all? He got some screws missing too. Because if my brother or my sister didn't want to do some stuff and took somebody out in that way, 22 Shots, y'all. 22. They said, y'all done, done, you know, crapped out a couple times when y'all tried to take Dolph out. Make sure he gone this time. This is what word on the street was. Make sure he gone. That's why he got hit so many times. If your family member didn't want to do some stuff like that to somebody, you be a little bit noob and stay for to be riding around thinking you sweet. It's all good. You a little noob and stay. Because you know what you should have been doing? Even if black youngster didn't make sure you was good, you should have made sure you was good yourself. You should have been very careful your own self. And, you know, your brother got a, a bag on his head right now. You think you ain't got a bag on yours, would him? And this $2,000, is, is, it's a joke. Because if black youngster cared about his brother, I'm going to tell you what I would do if I was a millionaire and somebody took my brother out. It wouldn't be no $2,000 up here. It would be something that people going to get out the hood with. It would have been two, two, 200000 That's what I would have been starting off with. $200,000 on whoever got information on who took my brother out. 200000 This right here is a joke, y'all. You leave him in the hood where you done started some crap at, and then the next thing when you, he gets taken out, $2,000 donation to anybody that say something? Black youngster is a joke. He would never cared about his brother in the first place. Nice looking young man, too. This is Black Youngster's brother. To Manuel Benson. This is his brother. That was taken out at the gas station. That thought that it was sweet, he can walk around, do whatever he want, whenever he want, however he want. I cannot feel sorry for people like this. Because you knew what it was before you stepped out the door this morning. You knew what it was. That bag that's on his head is on your head. But the only thing about it, your bag is free. This was just, you know... To let, you know, black youngster know. We still after y'all. This a freebie right here. But when we get to you, we gonna get paid. And mind you, they might have got something for taking this one out. But I'm gonna tell you this. When you take out a person like Dolph, you don't gotta get nothing. You don't have to get, no, people don't have to put a bag on black youngster's brother. Taking him out alone was enough for a person that's in Memphis that Dolph probably was helping. Ain't no telling who dropping these guys like flies now. Ain't no telling. 
And then you got a group of individuals that taking out their own people to keep them quiet. So, to be honest with y'all, we don't even know if they own side this did this. Look what just happened to CEO Teasy. And word on the street was CMG members did that. The people that had something to do with taking Dolph out took out their own member, CEO TZ. Word on the street. And they tried to steer the narrative by sending it over there to AK-47. And he put the story out that, you know, pre-members did. That's what they wanted him to do. So they can steer it away from them taking out their own member that played a part in taking out Dolph. So if they took out CEO TZ, did they take out his brother too? Ask yourself that question as well. Because this could be to tell, you know, black youngster, you better cooperate and you better not talk. You know what I'm saying? You better you you better cooperate with CMG members, not the police. And you better not say a word. Because see, all already people is talking. People are already talking. Because they're getting ready, you know, to um start, you know, they're already still investigating because they got a lot of people to still collect. But they're still doing the paperwork to get this court stuff started. Okay, y'all? And I don't know do y'all know, but Orange Mount Quint, he went, you know, he got in trouble the other day. And, you know, with the court system. He got in trouble because this is the person that tricked on CMG members. He got on in trouble because he left Memphis without permission. Y'all know he's out on, you know, some kind of bond. But he left Memphis so that, you know, he snuck out of Memphis. And he wasn't supposed to. He got to get permission to go anywhere. And he didn't get permission. And he left Memphis, you know, trying to sneak out so he wouldn't get taken out. And he just got in trouble for that, too. In the court, they that he, he went in front of. They they had to pick him up, talk to him, and all the stuff about him. You know, leaving. You know, tell him. See, the deal was, and shout out with Auntie Fee about them facts. You okay? The deal was, we let you out, and Dolph family approved of this deal for Hunter Mount Quinn. The deal was, we let you out. Long as you cooperate and give us some information we need to get to who we need to, because we want the top dogs that put the hit on Dolph, not the little ones. We we want them too, but we want the ones that drop that bag, okay? Like Yo Gotti and all of them, allegedly, okay, y'all? This is why they agreed to that deal. But see, when you agree to a deal, it's just like signing your, you know, signing away your soul. Because yeah, you out of jail now, but now you in the middle of the fire because you working with the police you tricked and you still trying to work with cmg members too because that's why ceo tz got taken out because allegedly orange Mount quentin told him what part ceo tz played so he was trying to you know play both sides act like he helping doff people and at this and the police and then at the same time acting like he was still cool with cmg but he got a feeling that things weren't right so he's been trying to sneak in and out of town, you know, to hide out. Now, nah, now they had, okay? Orange Mount Quentin, them, everybody had now. You want to get out of jail, but you you want you want to go out of town. You don't want to stay where they want you to stay. Because you're a sitting target right now. You are a sitting duck. And the judge wasn't having it. Okay, y'all? He just went back to court. Because him sneaking out of town trying to get away with get away from CMG now. Because they already know their own boys coming at them. And, and at the same time, y'all got to remember. Y'all got to remember when you tied in with CMG now, you tied in with Jay-Z. Because your guy and Jay-Z is just like this. They try to act like they weren't friends for a little while. Try to throw people off. But they always been working together behind the scenes. They never had no beef with each other like that. Jay-Z is teaching him the ropes, just like he taught, you know, um, Meek Mill the ropes. He didn't took Yo Gotti under his wing. So you have to think about this. If all of them bodies that allegedly, you know, Jay-Z got, he got away with it, he's teaching the game to, Yo, you know, Yo Gotti. How to get away 
with taking somebody out. And what is being taught to him, and this is my personal opinion, is get rid of the middleman. And then there's nobody to point the finger to you. So don't be surprised if Orange Mount Quint come up gone too, y'all. Don't be surprised. And I'm going to tell y'all this, Black Youngster and CMG have been having some little problems. So is this a possibility that they could have been telling, you know, Black Youngster, you better not talk to them people or we'll take your whole family out. And these could be his own people telling him that. Look what they did to CEO Teasy. So now they take out, you know, Black Youngster's brother and just put something on Black Youngster mind now. That this this this, this shit is serious, okay, y'all? He didn't realize it was serious at first, but now he really starting to realize it's serious. Because Black Youngster can't trust CMG members now. See, if you take out everybody that got something to do with having Dolph taken out, just think about this. I want y'all to think about something for a second. I want to put something on y'all mind. If they take out Black Youngster, okay, or if they take out Moneybag Yo, okay, they can blame the whole thing on one of them. And then free Yo Gotti. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see the play? And the play could be coming from their own side right now. This could have been a hit on, you know, Yo Gotti's brother from his own team, from CMG members. Because they're trying to cut loose ends right now. This is what's trying to be done. If you take out all of these people before court date, who is going to point the finger at Yo Gotti? And see what, what they should be doing? what they should be doing okay when they dealing with hitters and snakes and this and stuff like that and you just might have found yourself the person that they turn around and target just to get you quiet so they can keep somebody else from getting taken out you see this in movies all the time tell somebody else put it in a letter of what all happened to Dolph and if something happens to you it's still the shit of us still hits the fan and you don't get taken out for nothing okay y'all then everybody knows what happened. This is how you do that. You see it in movies all the time. Somebody gets taken out and then there's a letter just letters just mysteriously get sent to all these, these places. And the whole thing of what happened gets out. And then everybody go down. Yo Gotti, money Moneybag Yo, the whole nine. If you get taken out. This is how you do that. When you got a whole team of people trying to get at you. It, the the shit could still get it put out there okay y'all um this is sad this is sad on so many levels and you know as a mother when you think about one son that when it took out somebody as big as Dolph allegedly and he's at this grave dancing with the thorn in the background and this and that the first thing you're gonna worry about is those other kids that you have what he just did just put my other kids life in jeopardy and it just makes you wonder, where was the head at that he's sitting around going to the gas stations all nonchalant like nothing, nothing is going on. And he think that he could just walk away from this stuff and think that everybody is just going to go unskip. No, no. And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact of how the police protects your Gotti's mother's restaurant so hard. They protect it. You know, people that's supposed to be retired and all the stuff, they come out of hiding and everything when some stuff went down at your Yo Gotti's mama's restaurant. And, you know, they're trying to put fear in people to make people think that, oh, you mess with your Gotti and his mama restaurant and stuff, you know, it's going to go down. But I'm going to tell y'all this. People don't mind waiting to get that get back, y'all. They do not mind waiting to get get back. So soon as they think that everything is all good, that's just when the shitika is going to hit the fan. Even at that restaurant. See, you can't call yourself being protected and the police protecting you and this and that and that. And this. Um, I know y'all have been reading the news and watching the news and all this stuff about police has been getting hit up in Memphis. Okay, y'all? Because a lot of them, I do believe, is corrupt. A lot of them. And when you're a corrupt cop, don't think that... It ain't going to come back to your doorstep, too, because it will, y'all. 
It will. And if police is going to get taken out, who is they? Who is your Gotti, you know, mama restaurant and your Gotti stuff if they'll take a police out? Do y'all remember that somebody went to the police house and took him out in his driveway? Do y'all remember this in Memphis? They not playing with them. They are not playing with them. And this is the consequence of being tied to people that's out here taking people out. Now, here's the condolences that's going up. Everybody's sending out condolences. Dang, black youngsters sending one up for you. For you. Rest up to Manuel Benson. Wow, they took out black youngster brother. Yes, they did. Black youngster brother allegedly got taken out in Memphis today. And I don't know why they're putting this, you know, acting like he, this guy care. He don't care. He don't care. Because how has you got all this expensive jewelry all around your neck and all of this stuff? And your brother is still hanging out in the hood. How is this? You know, CMG is turning out to be um, some straight up bull crap, y'all. The whole label. The whole label is just starting to be, you know, um, just some careless misfits that could have had something good going on for themselves, but they messed it all up, y'all. They messed it up. Not only did they mess up their lives, but they messed up the people's lives that's around them. The brothers, the sisters, the mamas, the fathers, the cousins, the whoever, okay? I think the only people that's probably safe from that's around them, that's um, in their family or whatever, is people that probably didn't like them, to be honest. And they probably speaks out freely that I don't, I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't even get along with them. And people probably like they get a pass. I'm just telling y'all. Ain't nobody playing no games. And I want y'all to do a little Google search real quick. This is what I wanted to tell y'all. I said I had to talk about that first. Now I want to talk about this before I get off. I want y'all to do a little Google search. And in this Google search, I want you to um, look up people that has passed away. Okay? Pull up like, um, you know, Michael Jackson, um, Prince. Then pull up people that got, you know, hit up in, you know, gunfire. Um, a lot of it, a lot of gunfire ring out. I want you to pull up, you know, King Von, pull up, um, Tupac, pull up Biggie, pull up just people that then passed away. And I noticed something that was weird to me. And I was like, wait a minute. Cause I was, you know, pulling up pictures and stuff like that. So I could do a video with, and I pulled up this, I stopped pulling up, you know, people that passed away because it was in, you know, people name was being mentioned in songs. Okay. Y'all. That 50 Cent had did. He was mentioning Tupac and Biggie and all of them. So I was pulling up there uh, when they passed away, you know, like Googling them. And it'll it'll list when they were born and then, and then it would uh, say D-I-E-D. D-I-E-D is the day when they passed. This is what it would say. But out of everybody that I pulled up, Dolph was the only one that said assassinated. It said born this year, and then it said assassinated this year. It was like they put an extra crown on it because of the fact that, you know, your God in them allegedly had something to do with it. They got to make it seem more dramatic. And it was dramatic, y'all. When somebody, when, when Google is listing everybody else as born this day and passed away this day. They got Dolph born this day and assassinated, like he was a president or something. Okay. I want y'all to go look, go Google it, y'all. That's what it says, assassinated. Out of everybody, Dolph was the only one that I pulled up that said assassinated. Everybody else that passed away with four, five, six shots, um, it said D-I-E-D. -E and Dolph says assassinated. I said, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. And the people that assassinated him is hanging out at the White House? Put something on your mind, don't it, y'all? Put up on your mind that they think that they can have but have politicians and this and that and think they can get away with this stuff. Did y'all remember that the politician house, a man walked up in there and, 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 um, you know, assaulted her husband, a politician, just recently? See, nobody's untouchable. 
And even these politicians, they got kids that go to school. So why get yourself mingled and tingled into some street stuff like this and think that you're going to help these people get off because you letting them hang out at the White House now? They, you're going to help them get off and, 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 you know, try to clear their image. This type of stuff don't go away, y'all. Ain't nobody going to forget about this. Just like ain't nobody going to forget about what happened to Mo3 in Dallas. People ain't going to forget about it. And I got people come to my comment section. You sound like you crazy. You've been talking about Mo3 for years, and I'm going to keep talking about him until he get the right justice that he needs as well. We are tired of people like Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow Bees in them that allegedly has something to do with Mo3 now running around here with the commissioner of Dallas, and they all thinking that they protect it. Even the commissioner of Dallas, even his old tail can get it. Okay, y'all? So he got to stop being so grimy. But he didn't done so much dirt word on the street is, you know, it's bound to happen sooner or later. If the judicial system does not start doing their job, this is what's going to continue to happen over and over and over again. Y'all can try to cover up, you know, your guiding and, them and, and, and cut all the strings that's attached to him. All y'all want. Just so he won't go to prison. But does that mean he's protected in these streets? The police ain't going to be around you 24-7. And the police just have families too to tend to. So they can't just be all around you all the time. They can't. And sooner or later, you let your guards down. And you think that you can go and stop at the gas station, y'all. Okay? Y'all, I was going to say, check on your people. Parkway in Lauderdale. But not now. Prayers to Black Youngster's family. They say it's his brother. So sad. I had to get out and pray for them. Ladies, Lord, give them strength. You know what? Who needs the strength? Dolph kids need the strength. That's who needs the strength right now. You can pray all you want for Black Youngster's family. But Black Youngster's family got to know that this ain't over. They just had a shootout at a funeral, y'all, in Chicago. And they hit the whole front of the, the funeral home up. They, they, they just lit it up, y'all. People don't care about going to jail. They don't care about taking chances when they get to the person that they want to get to. Believe it or not. There are some people out here with a lot of screws missing. And they will take you out while the police standing there and don't mind hitting them up too. This is just how bad things has gotten. But this also tells you something else. That people are tired. They're tired, y'all. They're tired of stuff like this. And people getting away with it. Okay? People get locked up, they get out. They get locked up, they get out. They get locked up, they get out. And they just playing around. Okay? It's the same thing with Mo3. Same thing. Everybody that it has something to do with what happened to Mo3 on that expressway has then got locked up and let out. Locked up, let out. And some people are just, they like, they fed up. They're tired of the bull crap. They're tired of the, you know, people, they make a little money and they can pay off people. Then they got Trap Boy Freddy that allegedly is working for some of the police because a word on the street when Trap Boy Freddy first started, y'all. They said that he was working buildings that a police officer owned. A police officer owned a building complex when Trap Boy first started slanging. Okay, y'all? Word on the street. And this is why he was protected and didn't have to worry about no police raiding the, the building complex because it was a police that owned the building complex. Do y'all see how this go? Why some people just don't get touched? Because you got dirty cops out here that don't care. You got dirty cops out here that's packing their pockets with money. I was looking at 
the news or a story the other day that a couple police officers were riding around robbing people. They was taking their work. They was taking their money, their jewelry. And they was going to give it to the working stuff to somebody else to sell it for them. And they was keeping the jewelry or giving it to their, you know, girlfriends or whatever. And spending the money like it was theirs. They was just taking these guys, they, they work off the street. They wasn't locking them up because if they get locked them up, they had to turn that work in. They didn't want to turn it in. People that had weapons on them when they was robbing them, they kept those too. Sold them to other street people. This is what the police was doing, y'all. A couple police just went to jail for this. If you keep thinking that stuff is not going to come back to your door when you out here doing the stuff you're doing, it doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter what position that you have out here. It don't matter how much money that you make out here in these streets. Because I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave y'all with this one. The Bible said that in the last days, when things get you know, a little hectic and chaotic, people going to be throwing their money in the streets. They ain't going to be caring about no money no more. Because they ain't going to be able to be protected by their money. Money is not going to mean nothing. This is what the Bible said. People are going to be throwing the money in the street. I got to look up that scripture too so I can read it to y'all. Because they think that, you know, more money, more power. No. They think that they can protect themselves. Look at Beyonce them buying these, you know, $200 million houses. Way off somewhere in a cut and surrounded by water. It'll be that own damn water that come up on her land and drown her ass. Okay, y'all? It'll be her own water. Do y'all see how all of these, you know, floods is going to take place and tornadoes and all of this stuff? See, it's still a way to get to people. They call themselves higher ups. Because, you know, God tap, God, God to reach down there and do, do a little tap. Okay? When he's sick of stuff. And get that little whirlwind spending. Okay, y'all? Don't ever, don't ever think that people cannot be touched because they got so much money, they have so much security, they got this, they that. They security and all of them get swept right off that little island or whatever that, that she called herself by, by that house on. You know, when I looked at that, it's beautiful. But the first thing that came to me when I saw Beyonce house and all that water, you know what I saw? And it's weird that I saw this. And it, it, I wasn't asleep. I didn't dream it. But Pisces do this. You get visions. I saw her little ass out there just floating away in that water. That's what I saw. Beyonce. So you can have all you want. You can have all this property all out in islands and this and that. But don't be surprised when you hear about, oh, this whole island just went down. Oh, this, this, and this, that. Because, you know, There's a will and there's a way for a lot of things. And just because you think you're untouchable, that you got security. You know, Jay-Z think he untouchable too, y'all. He think he untouchable that nothing can happen to him. But see, when you running around taunting God and stuff like that, you can be up there in that airplane going from one city to another and you can do a nose dive right to the ground. You know, like Aaliyah did that allegedly has something to do with, you know, Certain people too. Don't ever think that you're protected when you're out here doing dirt and you're out here, you know, you know, pushing all the satanic stuff. You have to watch yourself. This is why I feel so free because I know in my heart, I don't do anything but try to help people. This is what I do. I help people. And... I don't try to do nothing dirty to nobody. Now, if you do something to me and I'm feeling, you know, like some get back, then, you know, this is how it used to be. Okay. If you, if you're doing me wrong, but I've grown y'all. And a lot of other people have to grow. When you don't get along with somebody, you love them, but you can't get along with them. Stay away from them. Go your way. They go their way. And it just keeps down a lot of stuff. 
But I know in my heart that I have not never did. Pe pe it's people that's peed off with me right now. I don't even know why. Because I ain't did nothing but try to give them. And when people get like that, you have to just step back sometime and be like, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Because if you don't, it just may cost you your life. Don't keep letting somebody keep doing you the same way, thinking that they're going to change and praying that they're going to change. Because if they done did it that many times, it got good to them. They're going to keep doing it. But anyway, y'all, Black Youngster Brother is gone. And he ain't got nobody to thank for it but himself. And his mama and family or whoever is left, they ain't got nobody to thank for it but Black Youngster. Okay, y'all? Because I'm going to tell y'all this, even if Black Youngster did not even have anything, anything to do with Dolph being taken out, which we all think he did, but if he didn't have anything to do with Dolph, why would you go make this video taunting his family, his kids? You Did y'all see the hurt on Trey Trey's face, y'all? I can't get that kid's face out of my head. There's no way that they're going to get away with what they did. Just looking at the look on that baby's face. This is going to happen for years to come. Their family, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, they can run and try to hide all they want to. Because Dolph was nationwide, y'all. Okay? People love Dolph everywhere. When I started doing a Dolph and I was talking about the concerts... I got overwhelming amount of everybody from every city and state saying that they got love for Dolph and that, you know, CMG Nim is not welcome here. And that messed up their whole enterprise, y'all, because now you got a bunch of artists that's scared to go to other cities and, and perform. Do you see how just stupid this whole thing was from the get go, y'all? Dolph could still be here right now, and Dolph and, and, and your guy could be coming out making their money, and no targets on their backs all over the world. But now it's targets on their back all over. They don't know what city and state they get back going to come from right now. And I'm telling you, it's, you know, it's a good thing Glorilla is getting a taste of the good life. But I'm going to tell you all this. Glorilla got a target on her back just because of the fact that she's with this with them now, too. So, you know, instead of her parents and stuff now telling her to be careful, blah, 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 you know, they're pushing her toward your God. He buying her cars, all this stuff, trying to make himself seem like he's just a man. You can't buy love from people. You cannot buy love. If you call yourself buying people stuff to make them love you, that's some sorry, insecure stuff in the first place. And you're just wasting your money. Because if Glorilla thought that Dolph was better than y'all back then, she still think that Dolph was better than y'all now. But she just turned her, you know, she'll tell y'all something else. Because she's hanging with y'all now. She's part of y'all crew now. They don't care for you one way or the other, Glorilla. Because you know what? If they send you somewhere and somebody takes Glorilla out, they gonna get the they gonna give get the good feeling of yeah I just took out another your um your Gotti member a group member or you know pe people that signed to his label but that still helps your Gotti because he got an insurance policy on her and I'm gonna tell y'all this for somebody that didn't got awards and all this stuff he got some hefty insurance on her and I and I know y'all paying attention to the fact that he just bought her this a Maybach or whatever. I don't know what kind of car it was. He bought her a car, right? A truck or whatever. And he put it all on social media that he bought her that car. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. If you already, your shows is getting hit up. The people that's in your crew has um, bags on their head because they signed to you. Why would you put on social media your her birthday gift that you gave her? Now, everybody knows what car Glorilla is riding around in. Do y'all see? And if she ain't riding around in a car, she let a family member ride around in it or whatever, when that car gets hit up, they ain't got to do nothing but pat themselves on the back because um, y'all knew what it was when you, so you started dealing with your guy. You knew what it was. That's why I can't feel sorry. 
when they said, when people told me when it first happened, that's why I say I apologize for not getting to it because I probably would have been the first person that posted it because I heard about it right when it happened. But I had a lot going on, okay? I had to get some stuff worked on today, okay? My furnace was acting a fool. So I had to get the furnace fixed. Um, Because it's going to get hot outside. <laughs> we finna have some, you know, 90s and stuff days. And I can't have my furnace, you know, my, my air not working. My central air. So I had to get that fixed. So I was on to something else. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get back on track, y'all. And start putting my stuff out first like, you know, I was. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We all are talking about it. It's going to be talked about on every page anyway. But y'all, I'm going to tell you, you know, this stuff that's going on is sad. It's sad. And at the same time, there's so many people that's glad right now. Because they feeling like they're getting some justice in this way. Because the police is not doing their jobs. Because somebody is trying to make sure that this does not go up higher or a pass straight drop them. They think they act like, oh, we got the people that, that took out Dolph. We got the people that we wanted. This is how the police acts. And this is what they did with, 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 with Mo3. They locked up two people. And the two people that is locked up, they not even locked up for Mo3. They locked up for something else. Now what happens when that tag runs out for what they actually you know they got locked up for? You know, the weapons charge. When do Mo3 charges ever kick in? You know what I'm saying, y'all? It's weird how this is going on. And, you know, you would think that if the feds and the police are all trying to find out and get to, to the bottom of what really happened to Dolphin Mo3, you will want to go as high to the top as you possibly can to keep these people from dropping bags on other people and sending their hitters to do the work. And they sit back and, you know, la di da do videos and brag about taking somebody out. If y'all really wanted these guys out the way, they could have them out the way. There is enough information out right now for them to arrest Trap Boy Freddy for Mo3 right now. There's enough information out about that. But they not. There's enough information out that points to Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, Money Bag them. You know, even that all that money that he gave money back for his birthday, but you didn't give him that much when you signed it. All of that lets you know that there was money passed around for the take off out. They have enough information to arrest people right now, but they not. And you know why? Because they got judges in their pockets in Memphis. They got police in their pockets in Memphis. They got detectives in their pockets in Memphis. They're stirring stuff around and trying to get people out the way. They would rather take out the, the, the little guys to make sure that they don't tell on the big guys before they go after the big guys. And this is what comes from that. They go after the families. They go after them until they catch one of them. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. If they took out Yo Gotti, they still going to want black youngster them. They're not going to be happy until all of them is gone. And then people going to be jumping on social media, talking about, oh, they took out, they took it, they get black on black crime. We need to stop. Well, what if it was your family? What if they cut off the head of your family that was making all the money to take care of not only you, but a whole bunch of, a boatload of other people? What if they cut the head off of your family? How would you feel? How would you feel? Would you feel bad about they just got the brother of somebody that took out your, your the man of the house that was feeding a lot of people? And not only that, Dolph was teaching, he was teaching these other rappers, y'all, how to do it without everybody in your pocket. And the industry don't want that. They don't want nobody that got a brain out here. Because how can they make money if y'all start having some sense? If y'all start, you know, getting somebody to book your shows and you, you cut out all the other and, and sign with a record label and all of that. Because we're in a day and age now that if you are an artist, you can promote yourself. You don't need these other people. And I'm big, I have no, I, I got people that then came to me and asked me, would I manage their career? 
and they want to be a rapper. And some people sound good too. Okay, y'all. People coming to me asking me that. Would I manage them? Because they don't trust people that's out here in the streets. That they, they, they got, you know, um, experience doing this stuff. I don't even have experience doing this. But I'm going to tell y'all this. If I was managing somebody, I, 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 I damn for sure would know how to promote them. Without, you know, all this money that's going to the record labels to promote people and get them out there. It's so much social media out here. To promote your artists on and get you somebody to just do shows. Sign you up for some shows. And all you got to do is, you know, get a little wind beneath your wing as far as, you know, getting your name out there. And why do you need a record label? Ask yourself this question. So you can have somebody put an insurance policy on you? Stuff is weird, y'all. It's weird. And it makes no sense that we as a people cannot share you don't see you know um caucasians and stuff out here that's celebrities you know into it with each other you see them kicking it with each other they build with each other these celebrities and stuff you don't see them into it oh i'm i'm the queen of you know florida it can't be no other actor or actor out here better than me it can't be no other singer out here better than me they not like that they're bonding, making moves together. If your Gotti and Black Youngster could not bond together and make money together and put Memphis on the map like they should have and start, you know, working with these teenagers that was out here taking each other out, they could have did this together and made Memphis way better than what it is right now. Okay, y'all? But they chose another route to just... Keep up your heads. Keep up your heads. Until now, this whole thing has gotten out of control. And everybody that's on this side and on that side, and they just keep it on. Every time they run into somebody they want to take out, they're taking them out. And the crazy part about this whole thing, y'all, is the people that's on, you know, Black Youngster and them side, they taking out their own people, y'all. That's the sad part about CMG, y'all. But anyway, y'all, just wanted to let you know, another one bit the dust, okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.